Hi everyone, welcome back to Get Ready With Me, Louise. I'm excited. So, this is going to go up on Saturday, and I decided that Saturdays I'm going to do a makeup look and do Am I the A-hole? In the first story, it's kind of close. I know, I'm putting myself out there. But, I believe it's like 50-50, but I'm curious on your thoughts. Because... Obviously, everybody has their own perspective, but I'm going to try to give the story as close as I can. Obviously, no names, but just give you the facts and see what you all think. Meanwhile, while doing that, I'm going to do a Valentine's Day to me past palette, but it's really pretty it's kind of new. Now, it's called Fatally Yours by Bailey Sarian. I've already did a review on this. And I said I wanted to do a uh, look with the darker shades up here. Well, let me open it. I did a look, I think, using these shades. And I wanted to do one using these shades. Because I heard that some of these shades are, are a little patchy. I didn't have no issues, though. Went in with the light hand. Now, Melt's formula technically isn't... Like, I like the formula, but it's not my favorite. Because of the shades themselves. They're so deep and dark and grungy. But I feel like this is the perfect palette for this. Because... I feel like in a way I'm the grungy one here. I may be the a-hole, but not really, okay? Because really I don't think there is a win in this scenario, unfortunately, but I'm curious to know. So let's get started. The first shade we're going to start with, I'll, I'll, I'll do this and tell the story, okay? But the first shade we're going to go into is Ryson, Rickson, I don't know, this shade. We're going to start with it. Again, very lightly, you want to go in with these shadows and then build. Okay, so. Where do I start here? I guess we start with a mother and a father, obviously. They had two children, myself and a younger brother. I am a city girl and he is a country boy for sure. My parents have retired, and my thought to them was always they were going to sell their farm where they live and travel the world after retirement. That's what I've always heard all through life. That's not what they've done. Now, let me preface this by saying, I don't care what they do. They worked hard for the money. It's theirs. I'm not entitled to any of it. Okay? Just because I was born into a family does not mean you're entitled to stuff. Just so that's clear. But now, let's continue. They, me being a city girl, them being a country boy, him always like in the country, they offered to sell the farm to him with them still living in the home. So he and his family move, would move in, and but they would still live there. That way they can travel, have income still coming in from, you know what I mean? So it makes sense. I was never offered it, so that kind of is a little wedge there for me to say yes or no. It's just they assumed I would say no. Whether I would or wouldn't, I don't know wholeheartedly, but when you look at a bigger picture. Now, you have that. So now we have his him and his family move in, and of course, you all know about me. I have a fiance, I have four children, two of which have moved out, two of which who still live here. My parents helped raise my first two, probably 50-50. Um, they really took on a lot of responsibility because I kind of went down the wrong path. I ended up before, for about four years probably. So probably, but I got them back. Like I raised them younger and then there's a four year period and then I raised them the rest of the age, I guess. But anyway, there's a four-year gap they helped raise. Now, none of this is whatever. Now, they offered he and his two kids and his baby mommy move in up there. So that kind of caused a rift with my eldest. Because my eldest is a country girl, so she claims. I don't know why, but she is. She likes it. My Me, I'm city. My second child he's kind of city too he's he could be either or really 
and then my last two are so young who knows what they'll be right so with that said my oldest though was a little mad about the situation we're going to go into lead now and it's a black so we're going in very light and building this up a lot so obviously it caused a rift but what can you do you know we're not entitled so it's their just their call they made the decision but it did put a rift in now him and his baby mama breaks up she moves out he's still there with the kids my parents are now helping him raise his two kids blah 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 but now he's dating and a person he chooses to date has a criminal record has served a prison sentence prison sentence am i judging that no do there was a lot of lies involved in this whole scenario too so we don't know that what is true and what isn't true and you know i the road i was going down it that could have easily have been me you know but it wasn't i was lucky by god's grace you know and i recognize that and i understand that do i personally care that she has a sentence no i don't okay do my children care? No, they don't either. And the reason they don't care is because they just don't, okay? But we do care in the fact that because my parents chose, you know what I mean? So in order to see the grandparents, we have to involve them. That's where the problem lies. And obviously, you all know my son is a cop. And he's not wanting to be or he's not allowed to be around people with criminal records, I guess we could say. So that pretty much means that if she is around, then he cannot go up there. We're going back into that first color. He cannot go up there if she's there. I mean, obviously there's reasons like he carries a gun. She's not allowed around it, blah, blah, blah. There's reasons. And yeah, th things can be, I'm sure things could be worked out. But the thing is, is that we're just not that close with, I guess, my brother like it just is what it is you know there's a rift there why I honestly I think it's because of my parents but that's just me but there is a rift in personalities and stuff like that that just you know is there and I'm not saying that you know I wouldn't wish any harm obviously and I would do anything I he you know for them but I'm not like going to bend over backwards or anything like that you know but with all this said it's causing problems because if she's there then like it's my side it's almost like it's now split my the two sides right which causes problems because my parents live with one side and they chose that side you see where I'm going with this now the problem is is that you know the person I'm with wasn't always the best he has no criminal record mind you but he wasn't always the best and yet he was accepted but he's also been here for you know this many years and it worked out for the most part and it is what it is, but yet my family, my side's not willing to accept her, I guess, is the thing. But there's a reason, you know? And I just don't know what's right or wrong here. Like, I understand, like, I, my children, all of my children, is what is important to me, right? And with that said holidays and stuff you know if one of my children can't be up there due to his job or whatnot it's like okay then we have to separate holidays the problem with that is my parents will choose to be with my brother which then excludes the grandparents from my children which is their grand their grandkids and their great grandkids but to me, that's a choice they chose, not a choice I'm necessarily making, but because I'm making the choice of separating, 
because that's what my oldest two children would like to do. It's kind of separating me from my parents also. But I do look at it as not really because they separated when they moved him in. They made their choice. You know what I mean? Without even in including me. And again, they didn't have to. So I really... Mm, I'm not for sure. And as far as lies, the lies are he's with her. He's, he says they break up. They're not really broke up. And it's like how serious is it you know if he's lying about that and like it's like what's the point of it if it's not even that serious you know what I mean to drag kids into knowing somebody that will be disappearing and not just I mean my children but I mean he's got children too you know <laughs> but regardless of any of that it becomes a problem because of my parents like I do feel like if that she makes him happy then he should wholeheartedly go for it but then understand that you know there could be some consequences to that as there could be some different decisions having to be made but the problem is it doesn't affect him it affects my side once again so I just don't know what to do and even if they moved out like if they change their arrangement and stuff like if he's still willing to bring her to family functions my side cannot go because my side you know but then I feel like we're using my son's reasoning as an escape goat for a lot of it also because I have nothing to say I can't bear around her you know what I mean but I do have to say that if it's a holiday I'm obviously going to choose my kid over my brother's girlfriend you know what I mean like that just anyway that's the but it seems like it's falling on us that we're the bad guys because we just won't accept her after he accepted who I'm with and all this throughout time we're gonna go into kerosene now and put it on the lid but yet we can't accept who he likes but then the lies come from him saying that and then what was she really in trouble for not being straight up about that I, I don't know so am I the a-hole I guess and I don't like my daughter she's got issues with them anyway so it is hard to take her opinion sometimes because sometimes I'm like she's just waiting for the out you know what I mean but I feel like she's just more hurt because the picture is to her looks like she, my parents always choose him over me or even his side over like his kids over my kids like he's the perfect one type thing in her head and then she doesn't understand like they could have asked her because at this time she was older and stuff which again if you just I was like but you got to look at it as you're the grandchild you're not a child so like certain things could be understood well it's never going to be understood but it, it was overlooked because it's like okay Christmas we're having it at my brother's house because it's no longer my parents like why are we doing that in my daughter's eyes it, well and my son's eyes too to be fair it's like no but yet if I have Christmas here they're not going to come down here because technically they're still home but I do understand their logic to it all And to be fair, I don't want to be the matriarch yet. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. I don't want to be cooking and cleaning and holidays and stuff. Like, and let's be real, nobody makes, like, my, nobody's going to make a Christmas dinner like my mom and dad, you know? And when the time falls to me, I'm sure I'll do it wholeheartedly. 
but it still, in my eyes, won't be as good as theirs. You know what I mean? Just like nothing's going to be as good as my grandparents. Each generation, it just, I don't know. It's a lot. But this past Christmas, I'm going to go in with Syria now. This dark purple, and I'm going to line the, um, I used it on the uh, lower lash line, by the way. I don't know if I even said that. Uh, but I'm going to now line the upper lash line and lower lash line. But this is what was weighing on my head so heavy over Christmas and New Year's and stuff. Plus, my kids aren't a big fan of this girl. And I'm like, but I'm trying to teach them, like, you don't really know her. But then it's like, how are they supposed to get to know her? Because to be fair, we only go up on holidays. I mean, my parents come and get my kids sometimes. But even then, like, it's so hard now because of what they chose. They don't get no one-on-one -on -one with my younger two at all. And it's always to happen to be around the cousins. And, you know what I mean? Like, they don't get a break with just them. But at the same time, it's like they're, I don't know. I just never saw this happening. I should have, to be fair. But I didn't. But it is what it is. And I hate it for my kids. Because obviously I don't know her, so I just can't let my kids go up around her, you know? And that's with anybody. Record or no record, you know what I mean? To me... It doesn't matter about that. Like, if I don't know somebody, my kids aren't going around them. It's just that simple. You know what I mean? And it's not saying I don't trust my parents. It's not saying I don't even trust my brother. You don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? And it, that one time, it's all it takes for one thing to happen. And, like, it's done at that point. You can't take it back. You, And that's where I'm at with it. And again, it does make a bigger problem because they chose for him to move in up there. But regardless, like, whether or not holidays and stuff, I feel like it's going to be the same. Because if he brought her, then my side's still not going. You know what I mean? So, and I understand why he would want, like, I get everything. But then they, my side feels like that they're allowing it, which what could they do at the same time? But yet because they're allowing it somehow it's choosing him over us I don't know I don't I don't think anyone is wrong in any way of thinking about this I just think it's a bad situation and it's a situation I don't know how to fix and I don't think it can be fixed because it's choices and then from there it just trickles to other people's choices you know what I mean all right, so after I did that, y'all know I'm not a big fan of the all matte look. Did I even? So I put that kerosene all over the lid. I use lead in the outer corner. I started the crease with ricin. Sarin I put on the lower lash line and lined the top, la top lash line. And then y'all know how I feel about this um, all matte look. I do think that that palette is good to like set up a look to start a look if you're wanting to go the more grungy route because you do have a couple of options for colors but I then went in with my moon dust shadows which I have no idea where I even put them I have the moon dust palette y'all are gonna have to ignore my hair because it's a mess all right it's not in that drawer where in the world 
did I put that palette so I could finish this up? Okay, I, I seem to have lost it somehow, some way, I don't know how, <clears throat> because I had them both sitting right there. Well, that's just craziness. Like, nothing's opened, nothing's moved, so it's like, where did that palette go to? I mean, it is just a little palette, but still, it can't just disappear now. I mean, it could, I suppose, but... You all... This is craziness now. Oh, this mascara, I put it on the other day, and I'm coming back to tell you. It's the Garon Mad Eyes. I used it the other day, and I wasn't for sure, like, why I didn't continue to use it. And I thought it was because it transferred... It didn't transfer. I still don't think it's worth the price tag by any means, though, just so you know. But it's not a bad mascara either. Alright. I'm looking and looking and looking. And I don't even see the palette. Like, it's not anywhere. And I had it sitting right here, and it didn't fall or slide off. And I didn't put it back where it belongs. In the drawer it belongs in, did I? No. Nope. I didn't put it back in there. But it is just a small palette, but it's like, how does it, it's still big enough to see. Like, this is nuts. Alright, well, anyway, I'm going to have to stop, I guess, here. I'm so sorry. And try to find the palette, because, like, it's just not here. It's just gone. Let me see if I shoved it. I'm using the Revlon, or the makeup... Revolution bronzer and then for blush and highlighter I went in with this I put on Ninfet and Venus Nectar for blush and highlighter so we'll do that so I put this on for the blush and that's the highlighter I'm using on today's look and these are the mattes and then I went in with two shades from the um moon dust shadow thing I have. It's got four shades in it. But they're just gone. The whole thing's just gone. I don't know where it disappeared to. Let me make sure I'm not overlooking it in this drawer. No. But anyway, I did apply that, and then I put this one for mascara, and then I used the uh, Kelly Ray Come Hello High Water for my lash line, lower lash line. But because I can't find that Moon Dust palette, I'm pretty much stuck where I'm at until I find it, and I don't want to keep you all waiting. So we'll end it here. The final eye look looks like this. I put the first shade of the Moon Dust palette here and then the third shade all over the lid. I, I don't know where I put it. Like, this is crazy to me. This is why I need to organize you all. This is bad. But anyway, so let me know. Am I the a-hole? 
is there is there a day hole or is it just a bad situation like let me know and like what do you do how do you fix it so curious but let me know down in the comments your thoughts and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe ring the bell hit all that way you're notified when i upload i upload every day but sunday unless there's a new launch and i'll see you in the next one until then take care stay safe stay healthy bye